Remember when I told you guys that I used to work in the club and how certain tables in the club would pretend to buy bottles so that other people can buy bottles even though they don't know that at the end of the night that table is going to return all their bottles? Well, yeah. I have another little funny story I have to tell you from when I used to work in the club. So you know when you get to the club and you see like a whole bunch of girls or like a whole bunch of like promo girls walking around with champagne and you know just like being the vibe basically. So do you know that in those glasses of champagne it's literally appetizer. So the whole point of why they put appetizer in those champagne glasses is that if someone comes up to one of those girls and they're like, oh my god, so what are you drinking? Girls, it's like, champagne, the most expensive thing on the menu. What does man's do? Buys a bottle of champagne. I've been telling you guys, like, everything about the club is literally all about perception. That's it. And that perception is literally masterfully created so that as soon as you step through those doors, you know that you are about to spend big bucks. So I'm sitting in my car because load shedding, you know, we live in South Africa, so we live in the ghetto. But I just saw something on Twitter that I want to tell you guys about. So on Twitter, they were discussing people that go to nightclubs and rent bottles. And if you pause the screen, you can read that over there to give you a better understanding. This thing of renting out bottles has been happening for years. I used to be a club ambassador for a certain nightclub here in Santon in Johannesburg. And we used to see it. But we didn't really question it because it used to be mostly the people that have a very good relationship with the club owners. So for example, you see like five bottles of champagne arrive at a table with all the girls and the flares and everything. But then only one is open and then the four are returned back into stock. And then you're like, hmm. And then shame, now because there's another table that needs to compete with this table, now that table has to buy 10 bottles, but now they're actually really going to pay for it. And then now you're sitting there competing with people that are renting out bottles.